Alright, I'm Peyton Woods. Hi guys, this is Corey with Hi right, guys, this is Jacob here. 3F Outdoors TV. 3F Outdoors TV. 3F Outdoors TV. Pretty good hunt overall though, it got me excited. This is my first buck bow kill ever. That's awesome. A sponsor message coming at y'all from SRB Field Rest. Um, they're great in the field, and actually, Jacob got us the sponsorship, and I'm going to let him talk to y'all a little bit more about these rests. Jacob? All right, guys. See, this field rest, you see the long piece, this top piece right here can come out to where you get about an 8 inch piece. You can stick this straight in the ground, like you're sitting on the ground for turkey hunting or just sitting on the ground blind for deer hunting to where it's at an angle so it's off the ground keeping your scope out of the dirt keeping the water and moisture off your gun and uh, it really helped me this year in a ground blind situation I was hunting with two guys and we each had one of these and when a deer came out it was already set up perfectly for us just to pick up straight up and go right to our shoulder with it and the second option you can do is stick it back into the holder to where you got a 32 inch I believe uh, height and uh, it's good for swamps or if you're uh, in a dove field, you can already have it set up at an angle with the second rest that comes with it on the front at a different angle to where it's already up at an angle. So when you come back up, standing up to shoot a, shoot a bird, uh, you, all you do is put, put the gun up and it's already at the right angle for you. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, this set that we have is not the Mars set. They actually make another set that's about, what, 8 inches taller? Yeah, it is. That way, uh, it'll keep, when you're in the duck pond, you can stick it in the bottom and have your gun sitting there. You don't have to worry about limbs breaking. I know I had this happen this year. I laid my gun on a limb, and it the limb popped as soon as I turned around, and my gun fell in the water. It was all fun and games, but, you know, at the same time, these rests are great for that. Um, we just want to thank these guys for giving us the opportunity to sponsor us, and, uh, we really appreciate it and hope y'all check them out. Again, that's SRB Field Rest. You can find them on Facebook or on the internet at www.srbfieldrest.com. Alright guys, this is Jacob here with 3F Outdoors TV, out here in between Georgia. It's uh, 22 degrees out here. The pond is covered in ice. It's cold. Well, we're not cold because we got waders on, but it's cold anyways. And uh, we got Peyton over here. I'll show you him in a second. We got Corey right now going to get the boat to get the ducks. And uh, uh, good morning. He shot seven. And uh, all we needed was three or four more to uh, tag out on Woody's. And so I say overall it's a successful morning. Flight's already over. It's probably not even 8 o'clock yet. And uh, they all came in at once, you know. We had a couple of groups come in, two big groups, and uh, we took four out of the big groups. And then a couple of doubles and singles came through, and we dropped them as well. So, uh it's a good morning, most successful morning ever in this pond, and uh, I'm going to show y'all what we're looking at here. Alright guys, this is what we're looking at here. We got a tall tree line to our left. We got the slough back there. Got a tall tree line to our right. And we're sitting in the middle of a beaver pond. The creek comes right through here. And we got a beaver hut next to us. And uh, the slough back there, the two trees come together back there, is a uh, oak hardwood bottom. The ducks like to come out of there and come out of the pond straight to us. And then in front of us, we got the rest of the pond. It's uh, up there is another beaver pond, little opening pond where they can sit. And uh, they come out right through there in the mornings. And you got the tree line over there and the tree line over here. Most of the ducks come in between here and here. They come straight down back up to us. So we got this part figured out pretty good. There's Peyton over there, Peyton. That's where he's sitting. And I'm sitting right here in this little, this like a little blind, kind of. And Corey sits 
right through there, that little hole right there. You look good there, man. Look, you're part of the tree. <laughs> well, is that your new tree stand? Hell, yeah, man. You know, I could always hop down this little hole and just pop up out again. <laughs> <laughs> you videoing it? Sweet. No. Sweet. Yes. That tree Maybe is... You see that whole bottom right there on the hill Just put you in like a little seat there or something. Lean out real far, have me a real long shooting stick. I can lean way out there. Go coming across the field. Shoot him stand over there in the backyard. That's a pretty good shot there. Yeah, I can hit Uncle Mike on the front porch. Oh, yeah, he cut away. Uncle Mike, you see us? Get a, get a paintball gun out and paint the front porch. That's Mike's house over there. He has a pet turkey. Actually, three pet turkeys. Oh, six. Now they have babies. Pretty cool. Alright, get down off your deer stand and let's do this video. We can cut it out. Take that and cut holes in it. Take it and drop it somewhere and just sit inside it. As a duck blind? Oh, it's a deer blind. The red neck blind. Tree bark. Hole right there in the front. That's a lot of hollowing. That's a lot of hollowing out of a stump. No, the stump's already hollowed. We're here with Lonesome Pine Gang Calls. We want to talk to you all about them and show you a couple of our calls. First off, we have a standard mallard call. This is multicolored acrylic. You got a silver band around it. It sounds amazing. Uh, I've had a flex tone call too, and this call by far blows that call away. It's really, really uh, realistic. We've had a lot of success this year on open lakes, getting the feedback call, the comeback call, and the feed call. It's really easy to use, and um, all, overall, this is a great call. Yeah, and uh, I know since we've gotten these calls, we went out last weekend in the season, we killed, what, four mallards? Yes. Four mallards using these calls, and I, I had never killed a mallard either to Jacob, and we both, we both killed mallards. It was, it was awesome. And uh, the other call I want to talk to you all about is uh, Lonesome Pines Woody Whistle. It's, uh, this one's made of burnt, or burnt zebra wood. Uh, it's a really pretty call, really easy to blow, and the wood ducks just come flying right into it. It's great. We use that call a lot this season. We have taken about 15, 20 wood ducks, mm -hmm. all with very variations of this call. We have acrylic ones also, and we got two or three guys going at it with those wood wood duck calls. Those woodies cannot withstand it, and they come flying in. A so, couple of couple of banded ones too. Yeah, banding so. up that banded female. And uh, we just want to say thank you to Lowsome Pine Game Calls. Y'all can check them out on Facebook and on website, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I do believe so. Hi guys, welcome back again to 3F Outdoors TV. Now, this morning, me and the boys, we went down into the uh, duck swamp where we killed wood ducks in a flooded beaver pond. and We got Peyton here, his first, first wood duck. It was a beautiful yep. drake. And uh, me and Jake... Me and Jake killed two hens that we found. We actually ended up, we shot six ducks. We only found three. Uh, the pond was real frozen, it's real thick. So it was really hard to get in there and find the ducks. And we did our best, you know, we had a kayak and everything. We just had a hard time. Uh, but it was overall, I, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna step aside and let these boys say something about it. You wanna talk first, Jacob? I go first. This duck pond we found about last year and uh, First time we went there, we were just overwhelmed with ducks, and we were late. And uh, we dropped four right off the bat, and we kept missing. And 
this year we went out early, we scouted out good spots to sit, and uh, we each had our own little island to stand on, and um, it was cold, man. The water was frozen over, our gun was freezing. My gun, I went to go shoot one time, and I wouldn't even pull the trigger, it was frozen so bad, and uh, got Peyton his first duck here, and uh, like we said, we shot six or seven, and we tried our best. We searched probably an hour, hour and a half, and we just couldn't find the ducks. It must have gone underneath the water or the ice, and they couldn't break through the ice again. So, you know, we tried our best. I hate to see it happen, but it happens to the best of us. And uh, I'll let Peyton here tell the rest of the story that went on today. Well, yeah, we, um, like Jacob said, it, the pond was frozen over. It was kind of a little bit of a struggle walking through the ice, wouldn't yeah, you all say? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, awful. Yeah, it was, it was rough, plus sinking up knee deep yeah. sometimes. But um, right before, about 10 minutes before shooting light, we had the first duck come in, so we just let him fly. And then I had some technical difficulties with my gun. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I had some problems with the good. bolt and it jammed. But anyways, they had two, one big group. How many was in the big group came through? 12, 13. About 12, 13. Yeah, there was a big group come through. I wasn't able to get on those, but we Jacob and Corey got two out of that one. We dropped two out of that group. But so it was eventful, just struggles of finding ducks in the swamp. I've never had problems finding ducks before, and today I just I hate to see it happen because it's such beautiful ducks, and the meat is so good in these wood ducks that I hate to see it happen. But we tried our best. Yeah, like you said, I'd say they probably went through the ice and then couldn't come back up, couldn't find them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, some sometimes it happens. You can only do so much when you're in a duck swamp and in a pair of waders. You never know when you're gonna sink over your waders or over your head. I know both these guys, they both got a little yeah. wet. And it just, sometimes it happens, you can't help it when you can't see the bottom in a yeah. beaver swamp. We found a beaver run and we both about face planted it. He got the worst of it. I got some, but. Yeah, I did face plant, but it was all fun. I had yeah. fun my first time, getting my first duck. Yeah, he's, he's no longer a version of duck hunting anymore. No. Nope. <laughs> so that's always a blast, so. Take some pictures for y'all and y'all stay tuned for the next